Greetings YouTube, it's Wednesday and I've had a few comments about these batteries that I'm recycling, which are these. Uh, there's three cells in there and people have asked me where they came from. Fortunately, I still have one of the battery cells left that I bought off eBay. Interesting to see the date there. So these batteries are over eight years old, which is a point of interest. Anyway, what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to try and open this cell pack and then we'll test the batteries with a multimeter then we'll charge them and then we'll try discharging them because it doesn't mean anything if they're at 4.15 volts it means absolutely nothing unfortunately so you can see these uh, tabs or whatever they're called the metal things all you've got to do is pop all of those it's worth noting that i found these cell packs a lot easier to recycle than the other ones this is what I mean by the other ones. These are an absolute demon to get open. They're a right pain in the arse. So that's what I mean by, if I say the other ones. So this is the kind of cell that comes out of the this type of battery pack. So the idea is we just pop each one of these clips along the back and then along the sides and it should open. I remember now this is how I did it. You'll notice I'm taking care not to put any downward force onto the batteries like that. It's all away from the batteries. There we have the beautiful cells. Sweet. These are glued in, but the glue's not too bad. So it's a very gentle prying open of a case and then just each cell just falls out. And there's the connecting tabs. I quite like this cable and I do, if you recycle some packs, keep that because it's very useful. Just to show you, here's some strips that I kept from the other packs that I opened. This is the BMS. 7.42 volts. Yeah, it says 7.6 volts. So now we're gonna use cutters to carefully cut the cables that go from the BMS to the batteries. Only cutting one ribbon at a time. If you were to cut across the two ribbons, that's obviously gonna short the battery. Uh, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut each one of them off here, making sure we leave enough stuff to solder onto. I'm just going to put positive and negative on them just as a uh, good practice. Now what we need to do is we need to this has got a plastic coating on it that we need to get rid of uh, so that we can make a clean contact. I found that rough sandpaper does a very good job. Uh, obviously you've got to be careful. I'm just going to gently roll that down a few times. See there, so we get some nice clean copper. And we've got enough clean copper there to make a good contact. Obviously I'm taking great care not to touch any of this part of the actual battery but I've just got my finger underneath the cell putting a tiny bit of pressure on it underneath the cable. So that's those done. Let's check each one individual voltage. No, I've done the wrong side on two of them so I better do it again just to keep it in order. I 
I'm going to write the voltage on each one with a pen. Well, my friends, that is what you call consistency. They're all 3.7 watt. You can see here I've used some of this strip to enable me to charge this Panasonic battery. Now there's the original strip, comparison in size. And they just slide into the battery and you can charge the battery with an IMAX 10 times quicker. I've got these cables I'm going to set up and we're going to charge two at a time. Right, we're going to charge these as a 1S. Interesting the voltage discrepancy there between what the multimeter said. I'm going to put this on time lapse and we'll see how long these two take and then we'll do this process the same for the other ones. As you can see, it's taken a very long time, but don't really have any option other than to leave it, to let it finish itself. So that's been going an hour. I'm just using my gun to check they're not overheating at all. So they're not overheating, so I just have to leave them to keep charging. Just a reminder, we're charging two cells, which is why it's taken so long. Cheers. Right, so these two are finally finished charging. That's how long it took. Let's see if we can do a discharge test. Remember, this is two cells. <laughs> Removed one of the cells and just see if it'll do it now. Strange, and I might keep saying over voltage. 4.02, I have no idea why it was saying over voltage with these two cells. What I'm going to do, I've got another way of discharging them, so I'm just going to charge these two, three and four. There you go, so we'll leave them on charge. Then I've got some LEDs and a meter which we can use and we'll be fine. Cheers. This is how the second set of two are coming along. Those. That's how much number three and four took. Now we just need to find a way of testing them because the I couldn't get the discharge to work. Oh, that one, these ones do work, but the other one reported over voltage, right? Hang on. Oh, well, those two. Discharge seems to be working. That voltage is dropping extremely fast, though, so we'll have to see, won't we? We'll come back in a bit. Well, they're going better than expected so far. We'll just have to leave them to uh, finish. Okay, well that's finished, and it's more than I thought really. Probably not the best idea doing two cells at a time, right? I'm going to take these off, and I'm going to try doing the same thing to the ones which said over voltage yesterday. But I'm going to do it one at a time, and see if it lets us discharge. Strange, so I think that must have been a problem with the charger yesterday, which seems to have resolved. So we're going to do each one of the two that failed yesterday. Interesting to see how quickly the voltage has dropped. I'll put it on time lapse for a bit. Well, it's not looking too clever on this one. I'm not sure if that one's so bad because it was left for a few hours after it had charged, but either way, pretty rubbish, which is why I've stuck an X on it. Let's try this other one.
straight down. Well, we'll leave you some time lapse, but not looking good on this one either. Okay, so that one didn't go very well either. In the next video, I'm going to use these batteries for something, a uh, very low power application, and uh, we'll see if we can get some use out of them. So pretty much we've got two half decent ones and two not so decent ones. Cheers.